And today I'm gonna to go over uh, a PST exercise. I can, we call it like a PST kicker or accelerated PST exercise. Essentially what we're doing here is um, we are gonna be on an unstable surface, call it basically ballistic, um, ballistic push-ups on an unstable surface, okay? The takeaway on this is like, why are we doing this? Is what we're doing is the exercise is meant to highlight a particular particular action within the push-up and that action is that direction change uh, in the physiology world we call it amortization okay but really like when I see a push-up people go how many push-ups do you do and I go, oh, here's your number in my head I see how many successful direction changes do you have right and that's what the push-up is like what well, I'm pushing up I'm, I'm getting to full extension right and a push-up only counts right objectively if I get to the full full flexion so full flexion full extension but training this position in this position and elongating that contraction while holding the right body position so if we can strengthen those direction changes right then what are we doing we are increasing your numbers for sure in not only in its uh, number total numbers but also in the speed in which they can accomplish you can accomplish more numbers in a short period of time if your direction change is really solid so the, the on this right here is a three inch or four inch band i think it's four inch actually and it's kind of necessary to have a real thick band so the next size down for us is like it's a blue for if we use blue we double it up okay because ideally i want to be able to grab this I want to be able to grab this because it, so it'll align my wrists up. That's the big thing is I don't want to be here like on a push-up. The big limitation on a push-up sometimes is the position of the hands. I don't want to fight here. I don't want to shoot with this angle. I don't want to hit baseball. Like I can't, not very powerful with my wrists in this position relative to a lot of exercises. So I really want to get into this and get good fist and line up my direction to travel basically okay so on the next step is once i get a good grip i want to get out over the drop zone okay i don't want to be pushing with my eyes over that which i'm pushing from i'll end up in a shrug okay same like you can imagine that i unrack a bench press bar i bring that bar out over right the bottom of my sternum and that locks my lats into place that lines my wrists up okay so from this position, okay, be also why the band needs to be so robust, because this is a two-direction push-pull. I'm not just doing push-ups. I'm going to try to push violently enough that I actually have to pull myself back down, okay? And that's what we're trying to do on this one. This one, I'm only going to do 10 to 15 seconds of maximal speed, right? And then I'll get cumulative work um, in reps and sets. So... The first rep or so, I go nice and slow. They call it grease the groove, whatever you want to call it, okay? I'm going to find my bottom, okay? Good glute squeeze, get out over the drop zone. I'm going to find where, where I'm direction changing from. Go, okay, there it is. That's my direction change right there. I want to be real tight. So why? Pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. Right? What I'm really doing, you'll see, is I'm really gathering tension at the bottom so I can push. And I'm really gathering tension at the top so I can pull. I'm not just slopping through it. This exercise is not meant to be sloppy. And that's where we really, as fun or as unique as these might be, they really have a purpose behind them. And when done really incorrectly, they look ridiculous. When done really correctly, they might even look more ridiculous, okay? But, you know, fortunately, we don't really have to um, convince people to let us do silly shit here. You guys may have to get some weird looks, but that's where you as an athlete need to focus on what we're talking about here. Good glute squeeze the whole time. Good grip, okay? Get out over that drop sound, okay? having an understanding of what we're trying to achieve for this exercise and others. So give this a shot. It's fun. It's super challenging. Um, and again, make, make sure it can be set up in a multitude of different ways. Okay. As long as this is stable enough for you to grab, you're not going to be smashing yourself into the ground. 
give it a shot and I think you'll like it.